Okay, so you aced your resume and cover letter and landed that interview for your dream teaching job. Huge congrats. Now comes the really nerve-wracking part. Absolutely. That's why we're diving into the make or break moment. That's right. Nailing your self-introduction. You've got one shot to make a killer first impression. And thankfully, we found an awesome resource to help you totally nail it. Oh, yeah. What is it? It's Teacher Interview Self-Introduction Complete Guide with Examples 2024 from InclusiveTeach.com. Super practical advice in there. Definitely will have you standing out for all the right reasons. Because you know how it is those first few minutes can make or break the whole interview? It's true, and this guy breaks down everything step by step. Love a good roadmap. Me too. Yeah. So let's start with the absolute basics that often trip people up. You mean like, tell me about yourself. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that question. Seems so simple, right? You'd think, but then you just blank. Total deer in the headlights. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but what's interesting is the article says the hiring committee is actually listening for something very specific. Oh, you spill the tea. They want a glimpse into your professional identity as a teacher. So not just like listing off your credentials. Right. More like who you are as an educator. Okay. Interesting. So how do you convey that? It's about going beyond just your qualifications and giving them a sense of your unique approach to teaching. I like that. Are you all about hands-on learning, or do you excel at creating a super-structured classroom? Do you seamlessly weave social-emotional learning into your lessons? Exactly. This is your chance to hint at what makes you stand out from other candidates. It's like giving them a sneak peek into how you'd run your classroom. And the article mentions some keywords the committee is listening for. Oh, I bet those tie into this professional identity piece. Absolutely. They're looking for clues about your teaching philosophy, how you approach classroom management, your experience with diverse learners, all that good stuff. Basically, how you'd approach teaching in their school environment. Exactly. They want to see if you're a good fit. So it's about showcasing your teaching style, your philosophy, your unique strengths. You got it. Awesome. This is already super helpful and we're just getting started. We are just getting warmed up. So it's not just about telling them about your professional identity. You got to show them. OK, so how do we do that? This is where you highlight those shining moments in your teaching journey. You mean like specific examples of our impact? Exactly. Think about a time you helped students achieve something amazing. Or when you found a creative way to connect with a struggling learner. Yes. Did you create an awesome project based learning unit? Did you find a new way to use technology that got your students totally psyched about learning? Those are the stories you want to share. Because it shows them what we're capable of. Exactly. It gives them a preview of the amazing things you could bring to their school. Okay, so we've talked about what makes a strong self-introduction and the kind of things we should be saying. Right, hitting those keywords and showcasing your expertise. Now, can we see what that looks like in action? Oh, you bet. The guide has some sample self-introductions. Perfect. Let's dissect one. Okay, let's check out sample answer two. It starts with a nice, strong opening. Okay, let's hear it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael Chen, and I'm thrilled to be here today interviewing for the fourth grade teaching position. Short and sweet. I like it. See how he mentioned the specific position? So important. Yeah. You want them to know you're genuinely interested in that specific role. Exactly. Okay, now listen to how he connects his experience to their school. Okay. He says, for the past five years, I've had the privilege of teaching third grade at a school with a similar demographic makeup to yours. Subtle but effective. He's done his homework. Right. And now here comes the teaching philosophy. I'm passionate about fostering a love of learning through inquiry-based projects and hands-on activities. I believe that every child has unique strengths and learns best when they feel known and supported. He's not just listing teaching methods. Yeah. He's showing them his why. Yes. Passion and a belief in every student. Powerful stuff. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Now he gives them a concrete example of his impact. In my previous role, I spearheaded the development of a school-wide gardening program that combines science, math, and social studies. I love this. Hands-on learning, cross-curricular connections, it ticks all the boxes. And he ties it back to student engagement. The students were so engaged, and it was incredibly rewarding to see them blossom both academically and personally. He comes across as passionate and dedicated. Uh, I like it. What about his closing? Let's hear it. He says, I'm eager to bring my experience and enthusiasm to your school community. I'm confident that I can make a significant contribution to your students' growth and success. He ends by bringing the focus back to what matters most, the students. And he reiterates his enthusiasm and confidence. Perfect. This is gold. 
This sample answer is like a masterclass in self-introduction. It really is. Mm -hmm. And the best part is you can adapt these strategies to your own unique experiences and strengths. So true. Yeah. Now, the guide also offers some bonus tips for adding even more punch to your self-introduction. Oh, yeah. Some really good ones. Let's dive into those. Hit me with your favorites. Okay. This one's huge. Connect your experience to the school's vision or values. Show them you've done your homework. Exactly. You're not just applying to any school. You're genuinely interested in their community. So like if their website emphasizes, say, a commitment to inclusive education. You could say something like, I'm so drawn to your school's commitment to inclusive education because I truly believe every child deserves a learning environment where they're celebrated and empowered. Way more impactful than a generic, I'm passionate about inclusive education. Right. You've made that personal connection. Love it. <laughs> okay, what else? Another tip. Don't be afraid to showcase your own expertise and passions. Ooh, yes. This is our time to shine. Did you master a specific teaching method or lead a really successful project? Weave those wins into your story. For example, you could say, at my last school, I spearheaded a new reading intervention program that really boosted student outcomes. I'm excited to bring that same energy and expertise here. See, that doesn't sound boastful at all, but it shows you're bringing something special to the table. Exactly. Now, shifting gears a bit. Oh, you mean those curveball questions they love to throw in? You know it. The guide has a whole section on navigating those tricky FAQs. Music to my ears. Let's tackle a big one. Gaps in teaching experience. Everyone's experienced that at some point. Right. Life happens. The key is to be honest, positive, and frame it as a learning opportunity. So if you took time off to care for family. That shows compassion, a student-centered approach, even outside the classroom. And if you explored a different career path. Highlight those transferable skills. Show how they'll make you an even better teacher. Love it. Turn those perceived weaknesses into strengths. Exactly. Okay, another question that makes people nervous. Oh, I know this one. Showing enthusiasm without being like over the top. It's a fine line, but it's all about finding that sweet spot between super enthusiastic and like robotic. Right, genuine enthusiasm comes from a place of real passion. What are you genuinely excited about when it comes to teaching this specific subject to this age group? So not just a generic, I love kids, but something more like, <laughs> I'm so passionate about teaching middle schoolers because it's such a pivotal time for them and I love helping them navigate those challenges. There you go. You've shown genuine enthusiasm by connecting it to your values and experiences. Exactly. This has been such a helpful breakdown. I know, right? Yeah. It really shows how much strategy goes into nailing that self-introduction. But it doesn't have to be scary. With a little preparation and a lot of heart, you'll totally rock it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Rough. Remember, be prepared, be authentic, let your passion shine through, and you've got this. That's a wrap on another deep dive. Until next time, happy teaching.